Hey, what's up YouTube? I uh, just want to talk a little bit about these Evinrude FICHT motors. Uh, they're a little bit finicky and uh, mine's actually a really good motor. I've never really had much problem with it. But I'm just going to give you a couple tips on how to keep yours running good. Uh, one thing for sure, they like clean fuel. As you can see I installed a inline fuel filter in my fuel line here. And then this little guy right here is your fuel filter water separator. Uh, change these every year, uh, even if you don't run it. Let's say you didn't run your boat for two years, you need to change this. Uh, they're about 20 bucks on Amazon. And uh, it really makes a big difference uh, if you have good clean fuel in these and good spark plugs. Um, I always run NGK plugs and Mine is a 98 and I don't have to index it, uh, but if you have a year where it needs to be indexed, you need to make sure the spark plug uh, gap is faced towards the injector. Uh, I just screw mine in, um, put the wires on, and it runs perfect. I don't have to index mine. Uh, the other thing, just a little tip, when you take this uh, air box off, you have to disconnect this little... Uh, wire connector right here. Uh, I'm not sure what it does, but there was a time where I forgot to reconnect this and your check engine light will come on right away. So it, it falls down in there really easily and if you don't remember to put it back in, uh, your check engine light comes on and then you, you can't figure out what the heck is going on. Uh, that's all it is. If it's unplugged for two seconds, it will trip that check engine light. Other than that, uh, this motor's been great to me. I've heard some of the bigger horsepower motors um, have a little trouble, but uh, very clean fuel, uh, the extra fuel filter in the line, and change your separator every year, uh, whether you run the boat or not. Uh, if you don't run your boat for a year, you need to drain your fuel out, because you're probably gonna have water in it, um, even if you use that stable. I don't use stable or sea foam in the boat. I just, I'll drain the fuel out and put new fuel in it before I take a chance. And then spark plugs. The thing with spark plugs too, if this, if you're doing a lot of trolling um, and you do a lot of idling, um, the spark plugs don't last in this motor for some reason. I'm not sure why, but uh, if you can handle just a couple of those little tedious things, this motor will be trouble free for you. Um, like once again, mine's the 115. I think the bigger ones uh, have a lot of trouble. So hopefully this helps you out. And uh, thanks for watching.